While the most persistent headlines over the last 12 months have been about the COVID pandemic, there has also been a great amount of discussion and awareness around issues related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Later this month, SBJ will host the All In Conference to look at how the sports industry is addressing and responding to issues surrounding DEI. Among the members of our advisory board for this conference, as well as being speakers at the event, are China Jude of the University of Wyoming and Kim Davis of the NHL. We talked with them about the growing awareness of DEI issues in their respective organizations and what's top of mind for them when it comes to next steps. I pay attention to language and I've seen the language shift from talking about DEI in terms of training to conversations about education and learning. Uh, and I think people are having far more authentic conversations and courageous conversations, I call it, um, where we are uh, um, tackling things like anti-racism, we're talking about gender identity, we're talking about intersectionality in ways that I've never heard um, the world of sports talk about it. So I really do see a shift. Well, the increase of awareness and diversity, equity, inclusion, and now belonging also is crucial uh, in the movement to progress and advance uh, black and brown people uh, around this country. So um, of course, everyone is in different places when it comes to education. Uh, some have already been in the uh, in the process of wanting change to occur. Others are self-discovering. And so uh, I think that if we can continue to leave it in the fabric of all organizations and agencies and institutions and companies, it can really make a significant difference. That first step is awareness, acknowledging something is happening and then receiving that education after the education, creating processes to make sure that everyone is engaged in it, and then ultimately policies, which is going to create change. We have to unpack all the elements of what it means to develop a diverse uh, candidate slate. And it starts with not just recruiting, but sourcing. Where are we sourcing candidates from? What networks are we tapping into both formal and informal networks? If we think about um, our normal systems of bringing in people in organizations, it typically, most of that typically happens through informal networks. So how do we open the pipeline of informal networks to include uh, historically underrepresented groups so that they can share in that access? These are the conversations, the sort of very detailed conversations we have to be able to have. You know, how are we consulting with those that are in positions of power to help educate them on the ways in which they need to tap into resources that they may not have any exposure to? And so I think, uh, you know, sourcing, attracting, developing talent, what it takes to develop talent. If you want to develop diverse talent, they have to see themselves in organizations. I'm joined now by SBJ contributor Shira Springer, who will also be a moderator at the All In Conference. Shira, you've written about it for years in SBJ. Even this week, you and I have talked a lot about it. We need more and more women, particularly in leadership positions. Yeah, I think that's a key issue when it comes to DEI. And it's not just more women, but in some cases, a majority of women in leadership positions would be nice. It'd be nice to see some of these international go governing bodies or these national governing bodies with a majority of women, 60, 40, 70, 30 even, because um, I think there's a powerful statement in there as opposed to having two or three women who make up maybe 20% of these governing bodies. I think it's not just having women in leadership positions that matter, but it's having a critical mass of women that can really uh, make an impact in decisions and bring up a wide variety uh, of perspectives, a wide variety of female perspectives, not just one. Well, to your point, we're making progress. It's not fast enough for any of us, but thanks for your insight. You know, we're gonna see you later this month at the All In Conference and stick around for a few minutes because you're also joining us again for our Insiders Roundtable. For more information on the All In Conference, visit the URL on your screen or go to the events page at sportsbusinessjournal.com.